Hey, you fans of 20th century popular culture, I'm going to take you to where the great, beautiful Marilyn Monroe lived at age 27 throughout the whole year of 1953 at 882 North Doheny Drive. And here we are, we're going north. And that's uh, West Hollywood and that's the uh, Hollywood Hills. This is the view that Marilyn would have seen. She was 27 in this apartment that I'm going to take you to. And uh, she did. She filmed and had released three films in this apartment. Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, and River of No Return. Now, when she lived in this apartment, she had already signed her 1951 long-term co contract. And in this apartment, believe it or not, she was only making $1,250 a week. She was very underpaid, but that's because uh, they didn't believe in her talent. They didn't really know what to do with her. And uh, so uh, when she ended up giving up in 55 her contract and moving to New York, she was only making $1,500. And that was Daryl Zanuck. He never had any faith in her. He never thought that she had any, any talent. Okay, so here you go. Here's a lot of the old architecture it's uh very it's actually unusual because uh, most of these properties are always tearing up but here in west hollywood they've kept this area here's the front of it here's the apartment where she lived and uh she was already uh dating jolton joe she had met him the winner of 1951 52 she met him on a blind date a little bit north of here on sunset boulevard at the via nova and there were three apartments on this property and she lived in number three and so they the last time this property was sold was in 2013 they sold it for three million and now it's worth six million and I think it's all one property and so uh, here's a little shot on the west side okay so uh, let's go around that it's on the corner of Cynthia and uh, Doheny so let's go forward let's gonna we're gonna go around so you can see the blocks and back and so we're going uphill and let's get another shot right here. Let, let me hang out the window here. Okay, and I think it's all one property now. Now, when I got here here earlier, not too about an hour ago, I said I usually. Hey, how's it going, man? Usually, when I get here, I get here too late. Now they this is probably a historical building that they may not be able to tear down. And uh, I guess that was the guy that lives here. Hey, how's it going, man? He lives here. Okay. Uh, but but what I meant by that is that this guy came. He looked like a like a construction worker. And sure enough, what does he do? He comes. He makes a beeline into the apartment. Ends up on that veranda. This is where she lived. And he's taking like quotes and taking photographs. So it'd be my. It'd be my luck that I come back and then they refurbish the whole thing. Now, in the beginning of the video, I took a shot of where uh, Marilyn was uh, getting in her car outside where the where those carports used to be. Now they're garages. They put garage doors on them. 
Okay, we're going to make a U-turn and then I'm going to get off. Now, I know people have done this place ad nauseum, but okay, I just want to want to say another thing, a little factoid that people don't realize. In 1941, when she was in ninth grade at Emerson Junior High, she was working on the class newspaper under a Miss Crane, her teacher, and she contributed a little blurb to the features column and I mean talk about synchronicity and this is a quote that she wrote when she was in ninth grade after tabulating some 500 odd questionnaires we have found that 53 percent of the gentlemen prefer blondes as their dream girl I mean what are the odds it's like the gods were standing over her notwithstanding her horrible childhood but you have to admit, for being tossed around like a homeless waif for so many years, she was always very, very happy. And uh, she was just a very, very vibrant, beautiful soul. So let me get out. Now, this is a Monday morning. This is a, as good as it gets. And uh, I'm gonna get out there. A lot of people going to work. Okay, even though she was already beginning to be the world's most famous female actress, she elected to live in this small apartment that they said that Jane Russell, who she worked with recently in How to Marry a Millionaire, she helped her furnish this place. And, uh, now all the books that you saw in that one photo Marilyn was, was always trying to uplift her mind because she was a high school dropout by necessity and uh, she was always trying to uplift her mind and be educated but they said that if you can see a lot of her films she had fantastic comic, comic timing and uh, she was always able to uh, interpret the script for the writers and she would tell them this is not what Marilyn Monroe would do take that out so she would ha she would do a lot of script doctoring she was a genius like that in fact being a, Ge a Gemini which made sense she said that she would only put Marilyn on when she was in the public but she was Norma Jean at her house and among her, only her friends and when she would be interviewed She'd always tell us, uh, the interviewers, do you want to, do you want, do you want to see Marilyn? Shall, shall I put her on? Like a typical Gemini, a dual personality. Okay, so, uh, if you can imagine her, now she loved this place. You can imagine her entertaining on that veranda, under that veranda. And, uh, she did a lot of, uh, she had a lot of entertainment with her friends when she moved back here to Los Angeles in uh, March of 1962. She brought along a friend, her massage therapist was now, his name was Ralph Roberts. He said that they used to do a lot of barbecuing on that terrace. And then she had a friend called, his name was Rupert Allen. I think he was a publicist. And then she hung around with her uh, wardrobe supervisor Marjorie Plecker a lot here in 62 and then Agnes Flanagan she would do her uh, her makeup and then there was Ellen Snyder another makeup artist that she uh, favored and uh, so after after 54 she moved to the Beverly Hills Hotel and then she ended up renting a, a house on Palm Drive I think it was 280 North Palm to the to the to the north of us in Beverly Hills and this is West Hollywood and so the only thing different is they took the vents those vents off under those drawn those drawn windows where the curtains are and uh, they put those doors as you can see 
Okay, so we're, I want to say right here, Maryland, wherever you're at, good night, sweet princess. Thank you for watching this far, and please subscribe to my channel, and I'll be seeing you.